This is my replica build of a AM2 configured as a stinger. This would have been carried by 6th Marines, 28th Regiment, 5th Division on Iwo Jima. Uh, quick recipe for my build. Uh, common items. BAR rear sight. BAR carry handle. BAR bipod. M1 grand stock. Uh, carry handle is attached to a mount which is bolted to the side of the receiver using the original nuts, bolts, and properly attached aircraft wire to keep them from coming loose. Attached to the hand attached to the carry handle bracket is the ammo can bracket, which is just a U-shaped bracket that fits under the leaves of the folded down side, held in place by a piece of safety wire. Uh, the can itself was a 250 round can, cut it in half, folded it up, used lead solder, put it back together. Uh, trigger guard riveted in place. Uh, the bipod, yeah I know the legs are late war, I just can't find the proper ones right now. Uh, the bipod mount, hogged out the bottom, removed it, slipped a sleeve over the barrel, welded the bracket, the bipod bracket to that sleeve, and then tack welded it right there to the to the shroud. So if it does have to come off, just cut off those two little tack welds. Front sight came on a 1919A4. Again, another thing, hacksawed in half, took the mount for the 1919 off, and couple quick welds to the trunnion, centered up. Good functional sights on a Stinger replica. This one is zeroed at 50 and 300 and I got dope for 500 yards. The front sling swivel is the rear sling swivel of an M1 Garand. Just welded there in, inside the, the bipod bracket. Uh, the M1 Garand stock is held in place by a scrap piece of aluminum with two Quarter 20 bolts, tapped and threaded into that where the butterfly handles were. And on the bottom, where the butterfly was riveted in place, is fabricated trigger guard and a trigger mechanism with a welded trigger from an M1 grenade attached to it. And keeping more period parts, the rear. Swivel is from a BAR. The top screw is from an M1 Garand. The bottom screw is a stock screw from a Type 99 or Osaka. And the big screw holding the stock to the receiver is a rear turning screw from a Type 99 or Osaka as well. And you can't really see it, but there are two brass screws going through that reinforcing it there's no epoxy no nothing fancy inside there it's everything in here on this gun should be period correct using only parts that they had available at the time all right under the shooting oh and if you're wondering about the creative finish on this thing one of the few things that are documented in several books about the stinger was they were painted in a camouflage scheme and each one had the name of a, of a wife or a girlfriend painted onto it to identify it for one of the six people that were carrying them.
That looked just a little bit to the right of it. All right, one on the left. You hit. Thank <laughs> you.